Hello Virgo, welcome to your December 2018 reading. Thank you for joining me. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Before I get started, I just wanted to quickly mention I have my 2019 year ahead forecasts up on YouTube. So if you're interested, please check those out. And I also am offering specials at the moment on personal year ahead forecasts. And those are the month by month, 12 month forecasts. So if you're interested, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com for further information. Okay, let's get started here, Virgo, for your oracle cards. From the Shapeshifters Oracle, you've pulled the card of Wolf Moon. And you'll see that this girl here is has this companion in the wolf. And the wolf is watching over her or she is watching over the wolf. Now the message with this card is about change and being watched over and supported. You know, it's about resting easy knowing how fiercely loved, loyally protected you are. While you change, you will be held, watched over by a guardian who will not let you down. You are in the moment of transformation. Your fears, perhaps that others will not understand who you really are when you show yourself and that you'll be left vulnerable are unfounded. And it seems that you also have a fear for some of you that you may hurt others while you are changing so deeply. So the lunar aspect of this card is protective. The moon's fullness suggests a high tide of power. And this is traditionally the time of great change and metamorphosis. It's a time when the tender can cradle the fierce and in which your true wild self and instinctual knowledge can be heard and acted upon. The energy of this card will also help you feel safe and strong when you sleep. So call on this before sleeping or traveling, or when you feel you're about to journey into hostile or uncertain territory. Hmm. So with this one, it's, it's a, that protective energy. From the Osho Zen, you've pulled harmony. Now this is akin to the Ten of Cups in traditional tarot. So it's about harmony emotionally, and it's that deep connection, a deep harmonious connection where you feel safe, you feel supported while going through some kind of change, metamorphosis, transformation. Very strong energy of transformation here. As your overall energy, what I really like is from the Oracle of Mystical Moments, you've pulled the card of no rain today. And I love this for you, Virgo, because it is about comfort, again, having a positive view of life feeling a greater surge of energy and shine. In this card, we see the sun banishing a crying cloud. There will be no rain today. The sun gives warmth, gives comfort. Her rays grant life and strength. They chase away grief and loss. On dark days, turn your face toward the sun and let the shadows fall behind you. Slip on your dancing shoes, if only for a moment, and let the energy move through your body. Surround yourself with positive, happy people to foster an environment where you can shine. Mm. So let's see where this goes. I do feel a, a, a positive transformation. One from feeling perhaps a sense of not being supported. And I feel that that is being banished. To reveal a, a greater sense of harmony especially when it comes to something that is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you Virgo so let's see where this goes I've meditated on your energy I'm going to use the, the cat tarot for your energy and for the energy of the person that you're thinking about I'm going to use the the steampunk tarot here so let's get started I, I'll do one more shuffle here for you Virgo the earth sign for December 2018 and then let's get started and let's have a look and see what you've brought to this situation in the past what has Virgo brought to this situation in the past this earth sign we have the uh, the nine of cups in reverse mm -hmm. let's take a look 
what has Virgo brought to this situation in the past? And the Two of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I'm getting false start. Some kind of false start here. So perhaps something that was an unfulfilled dream. It may have been something that you wanted to do. Perhaps some of you may have wanted to travel. Some of you may have wanted to take a... Uh, a risk on or make a choice when it comes to something that you're passionate about drawn to but I do get a false I feel like there was not a it's something that you were thinking about that you wanted to do but you didn't follow through on it because I get that this is a wish that was not fulfilled Let's take a look and see what the other person has brought to this situation. For the person that Virgo is thinking about. <coughs> what did the person that Virgo is thinking about bring to this situation in the past? The person that Virgo is thinking about. The world. What did this person bring to the situation in the past? The person that Virgo is thinking of. And the Page of Cups in reverse. So again, I get something wasn't what it, what it seemed. The world speaks to me of... I do feel like what, whatever this was, it was something that did, did run its course. I, I feel very strongly it ran its course. It may have started off quite promising when it came to an offer that was being made, but I get it ended up being something that was a false, I get very strongly here, a false start something that was not what it seemed it's almost like an energy of being careful what you wish for here in terms of something that you'd hoped would lead to success happiness contentment but i get broken dreams in this in the past around this so let's take a look and see where you currently stand with this Virgo. Where does Virgo currently stand in this situation? The Six of Swords, so moving away from what has been unfulfilling in the past. So I do like this energy. I love this card. You'll see the the, the cats here, the <clears throat> what I assume to be a, a stronger cat here in the front, pulling the cart here of, of his uh, companion and their their kitten away from the the storm stormy waters onto to calmer waters onto to some peace to, to more happiness in life where does virgo currently stand in this where does virgo currently stand in this situation where does virgo currently stand the queen of pentacles yeah you, you i feel like you're focused more on your stability your strength what makes you you as an earth sign and it could be male or female here coming up as, as female energy so i feel that this is something that is you, you feel very strongly about holding your own holding your own independence your own security in your own hands and, and I love that energy for you. It's, it's taking matters into your own hands when it comes to finances, career, <clears throat> all of the practical matters of life. Now, the other person, where do they stand currently in this situation? The person that Virgo is thinking about, where do they stand? King of Swords in reverse. Okay, well, if we're talking about an air sign here, male or female, it, it seems that there's a, a ruthless energy around this person. 
When it comes to communication, there may be some miscommunication happening. What is the person that Virgo is dealing with? Where do they currently stand? Where do they currently stand? The person that Virgo is thinking of. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. So around this other person, there seems to be an energy here of leaving something behind that they're no longer feeling fulfilled by. I do feel it's this air sign energy, but they may not be acting from a place of integrity. I feel a, a ruthless energy around this person, selfish. Someone who's being nasty. I, I get uh, very bad energy around this King of Swords in reverse, especially when it comes to communication. I don't feel like this is a person that you can trust, Virgo. Let's see where you hope to stand with this in the future. Where does Virgo hope to stand with this situation? The Seven of Wands in reverse. Where does Virgo hope to stand with this in the future? And the Moon in reverse. Mm. So what is it that you're needing to see clearly? What I get here is that in the past there has been confusion, a distorted view of things. And it's interesting that we get Wolf Moon when we speak about this lunar energy. Because I, I get it as the moon in this case is something that is protecting you, a protective energy. And with the Seven of Wands in reverse, I, I feel the energy around this is of you not being able to protect yourself or feeling like you can't protect yourself feeling like you have your defenses are down like you're, you're going to be easily hurt that's that's how i'm feeling with that and with the moon in reverse what you're hoping for is clear thought no fear no doubts when it comes to your future but still I get vulnerable I, I do get a vulnerability around you it may be that whatever this was in the past has left you feeling vulnerable and there's a need to to see things from that clearer vantage point because I feel like things are fogged right right now but you're hoping to get out of that fogged thinking and you may also be hoping to to let your guard down in the future without fear without worry, without anxiety that something like this is going to happen again. Yeah, let's take a look and see what the other person hopes in this situation. Hopes for the other person in this situation. Hopes for the other person in this situation. What are the hopes? Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm-hmm. What is the other person hoping in this situation? Let's see. Oh. And the two of swords in reverse. Okay, this, so this other person is hoping to, to make a clear decision when it comes to Possibly someone else that they are involved with or that there is someone else involved in this 
in this situation here Virgo could be a, a, a fire sign a Aries Leo or Sagittarius now they're coming up in the reverse which tells me that this Queen of Wands energy is someone who is perhaps feeling I do get some jealousy here perhaps some anger they're unhappy around the circumstances hmm something that hasn't gone well Virgo so it seems like this other person is wanting to get clarity over making a choice making a decision and again I get that lunar energy here with this moon and very strong energy here of if there is any confusion at all around making choices or letting someone into your life I feel the moon is telling you that it's the wrong move it's very much an intuitive energy it's you protecting yourself intuitively knowing this is what I'm getting with this reading it, it, it seems to be about your intuitive knowing about whether or not to get involved with someone this is your protection it's the protection I, I don't feel is another person I, I actually feel it, it's it's you it, it's your own inner knowing mm. yeah let's take a look and see what uh, how you're viewing this person Virgo how is view, Virgo viewing this other person how does Virgo view this person the eight of wands in reverse okay so there's been a blockage let's take a look and see the ten of wands in reverse okay so when it comes to this other person releasing something that's become a burden perhaps they've taken on too much responsibility there's a block to that things are moving very slowly when it comes to releasing something that has weighed heavily on them now when it comes to how this person is viewing you Virgo let's take a look how is this person viewing Virgo whoa the eight of Pentacles how is this other person viewing Virgo how is this other person viewing Virgo six of wands okay well they are viewing you as someone who is being very victorious when it comes to your work someone who's succeeding succeeding with your career you're putting in the hard work here the hard yakker as we say in Australia and really making a go of things and and this may be why they are perhaps showing an interest in you again because I do think that this is something that has come to a completion in the past already I can't help but feel that this other person here is thinking about making some kind of move but they, they, they don't seem to be telling the truth around this around this this what they whatever they're leaving behind it may be this fire sign that they are trying to get clarity on to, to make a choice over but they're viewing you here Libra as someone who is very successful uh, very uh, good at what you do and de dedicated and determined to succeed okay let's look and see what your doubts and fears are here Virgo doubts and fears for Virgo doubts and fears for Virgo all the doubts and fears three of Pentacles in reverse so you may be doubting that this uh, is going to to work out in, in your favor you may be feeling it's a one-sided energy here doubts and fears for Virgo okay and the Emperor so it may be around this Emperor 
someone who has been an important figure in your life I do pick it up as male here I'm picking up male energy but someone who has a, a very strong character about them but you're doubting that this is going to work maybe because it hasn't worked in in the past mm. let's take a look and see what the uh, doubts and fears are for the other person doubts and fears for the other person could be an Aries as well that we're dealing with here doubts and fears for the other person doubts and fears for the person that Six of Swords in reverse, doubts and fears, the person that Virgo is dealing with, okay, and we also have the, the Fool in reverse, okay. Six of Swords in reverse, well, they're, they're doubting that they can make a move to, to find happiness in their life. There seems to be a lack of confidence, a lack of belief in themselves when it comes to making a move away from something that they find unfulfilling. They, they may they may be staying in something here Virgo that th this being untruthful, this may be them being untrue to themselves. Telling, telling lies to themselves about wanting to, to move on. Because I do get for them, there's a stuck energy. Someone who's not willing to take a risk, to take that step, that leap of faith to something better. And when it comes to your challenge here, Virgo, let's take a look. Challenge for Virgo. What is the challenge for Virgo? What is the challenge for Virgo? Ten of Cups. Well, your ta challenge is to, to look at what is going to make you happy in the long run. What is going to, to give you that sense of happy ever after. Feeling like you're all, your cup, all your cups are full. And that you've reached that successful ending here when it comes to an emotional fulfillment let's get another card challenge for virgo challenge for virgo what is your challenge for virgo and the king of swords yeah it seems to be around i have him twice here so it may be around an air sign i get him as a male here so the majority of, it, of you it will be a male air sign a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius and uh, your challenge here is to find happiness with uh, with this air sign here Virgo someone who is truthful when it comes to communicating with you with with their wants their needs the energy around this is someone who may not on the surface show their emotions but I do feel like they have the the emotion is there it's just that they find it difficult to convey the more emotional side of themselves they're used to logic uh, being objective analytical someone who may have a, a tough exterior or an exterior of alpha male I, I get like alpha male energy around this person in terms of how they project themselves let's look at the challenge for the other person what is the challenge for the person that Virgo is dealing with we've got the ace of pentacles okay so with this one the challenge here is not to miss an opportunity that may be around them for stability that solid foundation prosperity for the future challenge for the person that Virgo is thinking of and the nine of swords mm. well they, they seem to be in a 
they may have been going through a, a, a dark period, a time of stress, worry, a lot of doubt, fear, problems in their life. So the challenge is to overcome this, overcome this, this, this feeling of whatever it is causing them a lot of distress, mental anguish. It seems to be around making sure that they take advantage of an opportunity that is around them to get more grounded. Let's take a look and see. We'll have a quick peek here at the uh, the outcome and then we'll take this into the extended reading. And I'll be pulling out a lot more cards on the extended reading. It'll be about, about another 20 to 30 minute, well sorry, no, about a 30 to 40 minute reading for this one Virgo. And that will be on my Vimeo channel. So if this is resonating, uh, please click on the link below at the end of this reading and that will take you to the extended version. Let's take a quick peek here. We've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. The outcome for Virgo. What is the potential outcome? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Potential outcome for Virgo. And we also have the, uh, the Four of Cups. Okay, so with this one, it, it's an opportunity to, to heal from the past, I feel. It, it was an ending, something that ended perhaps badly, possibly with betrayal on one or either side. And what I get around this is that there's a lot of emotional turmoil around this around this opportunity that that is around you i have a feeling it's somebody coming back from the past or or the chance of someone coming back from the past because with the four of cups i get it's not something that you may automatically just pick up and and, and start over again with this person there's a lot of being unsure whether or not this is something you want to get involved again so we'll see where that goes the uh, the outcome for the person that you are thinking of here virgo nine of cups in reverse it's interesting because you started out with the nine of cups in reverse mm. Outcome for the person that Virgo is dealing with. Ten of Pentacles. So their focus seems to be more on what is stable and secure, something for the long term here, rather than just short term gratification. And what is the potential outcome here for the person that Virgo? And we also have the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Okay, well, that's a strong message there. You know, with the Page, I do get, well, with the Page and the, and the Ten of Pentacles, I do get this as um, a lot more practical, grounded energy, a chance for, a, a new chance or a chance to start over at something that is has potential to go the distance, to go the long haul, to be that forever stable commitment. And the energy around the Five of Swords with this, I feel like this person is willing to do anything to, to get what, what they want. And I guess this is this, this ruthless energy that I picked up earlier with that King of Swords in reverse. This person has a ruthless streak. I feel like if, the, if it's something that they want and that they have their mind set on, they don't care who they hurt to get it. And, and, and this is the, the energy that I'm picking up around them. Hmm. That's interesting. So we'll see where this goes for you in, in part two, Virgo, but it seems like there's, there's an energy here of a chance for that Ten of Cups, that, that happiness. What's going to give you 
you happiness, that emotional fulfillment in life. Is it this person, this emperor, who wants to be a protector? I do get a protective energy around this. And with no rain today, you know, it, it's having that sense of comfort. Mm. Yeah, it, it's very much an energy here of gaining strength to chase away grief and loss. Mm. Surrounding yourself with positive, happy people to foster an environment where you can shine. Here, Virgo. I feel this is your challenge. Is it with this person? I feel you'll instinctively know with the, this moon energy, the moon as your protector, your intuition as your protector. What's it telling you? What's your gut telling you? So I hope that you join me in part two. Again, the link is below in the descriptions box and we'll see where this goes. That will be on my Vimeo channel. If I don't see you there, then I wish you all the very best for the rest of the year and a happy and healthy new year. I thank you for all your support throughout the year. And I also hope that you continue to join me in 2019 where we're on this journey together. So wishing you the best and bye for now, Virgo.